If there's not food, it's not an actual Latino celebration. I'm just saying. <laughs> we do a lot of communal things around food. Certainly that's something that has connected uh, my family for generations. We have anywhere from tamales to enchiladas to the mole. We've sort of embraced Tex-Mex as like our thing too. And so like there's that whole aspect of pajitas or the flour tortilla. Some of the names resemble the names of the foods from Mexico. We have tacos, we have tamales, tostadas, enchiladas, but they are completely different. Not only in size, shape, but taste. Some of the food that is like really special for us is like pupusas. The pupusas is basically like a tortilla, but they have cheese and pork inside. And you can choose if you want like a cheese and pork, or you can choose just cheese or just beans or just like with garlic. One of the main things where I come from, which is Rio de Janeiro, uh, is the feijoada which is black beans with all kinds of meats in it. Then you put oranges and uh, veggies and the great churrasco, which is all the meat that you can ever, ever eat in your life. One main thing that if you go to Dominican and you're a visitor, they're gonna tell you to eat la bandera, which is your basic chicken, arroz con habichuela, and then of course some tostones, which is twice fried plantains. Uh, tostones, it's, um, it's a banana, but it's a green banana. So what you do is you just chop it in uh, small pieces and then you fry it, you deep, deep fry it. So the plantains, you can serve them with sour cream as a dip, or you can buy the cream, the Honduran cream. Uh, you can also uh, serve them with the black beans or the red beans. And that's of course, I refry and mashy, so that way they can serve as a dip. You can place a significant role for, Nicaraguan, for the Nicaraguan cuisine because we're incorporating different typical dishes such as buñuelos or bigoron and also in fritangas. So the cool thing about yuca is that it can feed a lot of people because there's a lot of it and you can add anything to it to make it any sort of like flavor. We have a lot of seafood, vegetables, beans. We have a lot of coast and, and seafood is a very important part of our diet. Tapas are small plates for, uh, with different kinds of, of food. So if you are going to go out uh, before lunch, when you are going to take an appetizer, you go to a bar, you ask for a drink, and they always offer a, a little plate of food. We like cafe con pan. So um, bread and coffee, that's one thing. It's like we believe that it doesn't have to be a big meal. It can be a small meal as just cafe con pan. Desserts, uh, we can go, to, go anywhere from pan dulce, we have conchas, uh, we have flan, sopapillas, uh, too many bad things, but they're really, really good. So hopefully you get a chance to try them out.